a lot of Arsenal fans, I'm sure, would have been really interested to hear you and Alan Smith, himself once a great Arsenal centre-forward, talking about the absence of the right player in that position. Surprised not least because they've got a bloke called Gabriel Jesus who has nine on his back yeah. and who was sort of meant to be that thing, wasn't he? So just explain, I know it's not that simple, just explain what you and Alan would have meant by that. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm not a fan of strikers, as in it sounds daft that, strikers who just stay in the six-yard box and grab a goal. Um, there are not many of them exist anymore now anyway. I like forwards that are forwards, not strikers, ones that move, that are flexible, that can play left, that can play right. But you've still got to have a couple of players in your team, minimum one, that have just that, that smell and that sniff of where the ball's going to land and they're in there. And not a poacher. The days of poachers are gone that just, if you like, play off another striker and two up top. We're not in that moment anymore. We think of the forward lines that we've seen over the last few years. Barcelona with David Villa, Messi and Pedro all those years ago. None of them are real strikers, as in goal sniffers. Aguero was. We're not talking about that even, but we're just talking about someone who knows where to be. And I always think that, and I just think of this listening, not through personal experience, I've never a striker, but what I didn't used to like and what I used to like as a defender, but also listening to Sal Alex Ferguson and his coaches and my coaches with England over all those years. And it always used to be that strikers have to make runs across the, or across the defender. That if it's on the other side of the pitch and it's getting crossed to the back post, you make that run into the back post on a corner, on that second ball that's getting flicked on, you've got to get in at that back post. And immediately on that chance at the end, it just hit me. Because I just think of Ian Wright starting in and in around the six-yard box on the goalkeeper. Because I used to mark Ian Wright on corners. And he was a nightmare. But he'd always just pull around to the back post to make sure that if that ball got sort of just glanced on, which it does, and Arsenal are looking for that. They've been looking for it all game, that you're there and you're in at the back post. And he wasn't there. And he was hanging out and he just hadn't made that run. And Jesus, when he gets that chance, when he sort of robs Madison, these are big moments in the game. These are big, big things. And you've just got to be on the move. You've got to be sniffing, smelling. I use the word anticipate. All those three words I used. And Arsenal just haven't got that in this game. Look, I really like this Arsenal team. And they could go on and win a title or finish second and have a great season and win trophies without that type of player. But it became obvious in this game that that was missing. It became obvious to me that that was missing. And I think it's something that... Um, I would point out, Alan Smith points out, and he knows more, far more about striking and instinct than I do.